Here we have a new 2024 GMC Terrain. Now this terrain, this terrain comes with the all-wheel drive setup and the AT4 trim level. This color is Ebony Twilight Metallic. And then we have jet black perforated leather interior. The powertrain consists of a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. And that's made it to a nine speed automatic transmission. Now, as we come around to the front end here, pretty much carries over from 23 LED headlamps, LED daytime running lights. And we also have the LED fog lamps as well. Love the look there. I mean, what makes this look so modern is just this front fascia. And I mean, they're even putting this on the new Acadias and this has been out since what, 20, 2020, 21. So just a great look here. Stood the test of a few years. I love that galvanized grill there. Just pretty to look at. Now over here to the wheels, we get these 17 inch machine face alloy wheels. Great look there. I love that black. Get passive keyless entry on all four doors and then our memory seat functions are here hit set hold the number you want to set it to and then to recall a setting just press that number power door lock controls one touch automatic up and down for the driver's side window and then express down for the other three windows rear window lock there power mirror controls are there and then we do have blind spot monitors in the side view mirrors power lift gate control there we set that to max three fourths and then open or shut it then we have a bottle holder, seven speaker Bose sound system, heads up display controls. Now these, both of those are optional and I'll show you what package those come in. And then we have an electronic parking brake, press to engage, to the brake, press it again to disengage. Hood release, pedals. We have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel and the release for that right there. And then here's our eight way power driver seat with two way power lumbar support. Love the stitching, the AT4 and ball stitching there. Just looks super, really, really good. Had me at a loss of words there for a minute. Trying to get this sticker before the sirens get too close, but huge shout out to Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this Terrain AT4 today. I'll leave a link below in the description to this particular vehicle, but 41260 is the sticker price. Let's go ahead and hop in the, the back seat here. All right, so just in time, there's the door panel there. I usually hold it open to show, but that ambulance is going right by me if you can see it. But legroom here is pretty good. We have seat back pockets on both sides. Headroom, even with the sunroof, I still have about an inch or two of headroom being 6'3 and having the seat up front set for someone of my size. So I'm still impressed by this being a smaller SUV still having this much space rear ac vents are here you have two usb a charge ports and then a 120 volt three prong household plug-in way down there and there's a view of the front from back here and we have a power sunshade as you can see that matches the headliner but i have it open now you can just see how far back this roof goes it's huge love the skyscape sunroof and bottle holders are here. Grab handle here. We could probably hang a couple small plastic hangers on there if we need to. And then a few metal hanger hooks, whether that's a uniform or a shirt or two. Fuel fillers there, not lockable, but don't really see too many issues with that being a problem anymore. People siphoning your gas, but I get a lot of complaints in the comments but we have the led signature lights there for the tail lamps love the back end again another modern look it's the exhaust and then for the power lift gate we can also activate that from back here this has the optional all-weather floor mats throughout which i think is great highly recommend that so it doesn't stain your carpet or so that you don't stain your carpet over time And then back here, we can fold our rear seat. We can also do it from the actual seat itself. And I'll show you how you do that in a minute. Now, pretty easy to snap this back into place. Just gotta give it a little extra pressure when you get it to the actual click in there. And then you can recline it a little 
but that's about where it goes and then you can move it back all the way there but again you can just pull up from there too if you don't want to do it from the back now to the front passenger seat love what they've done here just having the power seat bottom but then keeping the seat back manual so that you can do this fold that flat and then if you want to put bigger objects and fold that seat flat you can run something all the way from the back of the vehicle basically to the front dash there and that's pretty impressive and then you just have to pull it back up and you can get it back into place there I like the side storage pocket. You can actually put bigger objects than what I'm used to seeing. Usually the opening is about that size and then having it this big, you can put wider objects, maybe even a, a wallet or something like that. Glove compartment there, top pocket there. And for this to be such a small vehicle, I'm just glad that they did what they did in terms of providing storage wherever they could. Now back to the front end here flip the switch, lift the hood, and there's that 1.5 liter turbocharged Ecotec four cylinder. So you're supposed to get 28 miles per gallon with the, the all wheel drive variant. But let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. Oh, one other thing, roof rails are here if you wanna get some crossbars and turn that into a rack. To the steering wheel here, leather wrapped, feels nice. You can heat there. There's the horn. Now over here to the 8 inch screen, we do get AM, FM, XM radio along with Bluetooth audio. We also have wired Apple CarPlay, wired Android Auto compatibility as well. Navigation systems here. And then you can find destinations by using voice recognition. You have shortcuts here, you could type them out, whatever. So pretty fast system. I like that it's built in here. You can even see gas stations that are close by how much they're selling fuel for. I need to get a, a lick on that 307 there. Now for the settings, time and date, language, all that could be adjusted there. To pair your phone, just hit add phone and then find it on your Bluetooth device. It walks you right through it. Wi-Fi hotspots and all that are there too. And then we also have a rear seat reminder, teen driver, and then for the Wi-Fi hotspot, you have that there if you wanna set that up. Pretty easy to do. Now for the cameras, you have a backup camera here. Pretty good picture. You see that 360 view on the left side. Guidelines follow as you turn. When I put it in drive, front camera pops up. We have curbside views as well. And then we even have like a trailer hitch view. So as you start backing up, you can see what you're getting close to so i love that now volume you can turn that up there click there to mute hold down to power the whole system down and then auto stop toggle hazards this is kind of like a scroll bar and then when you're in the actual audio you can use it as a tune knob and then you can seek here home button all of that so love how we still have physical buttons for all the important stuff now for your dual zone automatic climate controls to turn on the auto mode you just click there and then to turn it off you have to adjust the fan speed and fan direction and then you can sync and unsync here and then you also have just your defrosters and whatnot there now for the nine speed it's all push button for the shifter so hit p for park pull up for reverse in for neutral d for drive and then that low gear you can manually shift right here if you decide to do that i don't ever use that but again you can do it if you want 12 volts down there. You also have an SD card reader. That's for the navigation there. USB-C, USB-A input. You can use those for the CarPlay, Android Auto. And you have the aux input here. Bottle holders, parking sensor toggle, and then the all-wheel drive. You can go between two-wheel, four-wheel. And then you also have that terrain mode as well, or off-road mode, excuse me. And then you can go back to that two-wheel drive mode. You have your downhill, brake control there hill descent and then you have your lane keep assist with lane departure the three stage heated front seats you can either do the seat back or the seat back and seat bottom on either side center console cubby space with two additional USB A ports for charging and then you have a removable tray here 
And then up here you have the controls for the universal home remote, that power sunshade as well as that power roof so we can either tilt or slide that. So that's one touch for the slide. Hit it a second time, goes all the way back there. So pretty impressive. And there's a view of the back seat from up here. And then I'll start closing that sunshade. Y'all can see that in action. Sunglasses holders here. You do have to hit that twice, I always forget. And then for the vanity mirror, love that we have these premium lights. Now back to the steering wheel. Behind the steering wheel on the left side, we can toggle our auto high beams there. We have the low beams on now, so we can do the high beams there and flash here. Fog light toggles here. The auto mode, we can turn on or off there. And then for the windshield wiper controls, we have one time off there, intermittent low high. We can adjust the intermittent wiper there. Then the rear wiper is here. And we can push back for rear wiper fluid, pull up for front wiper fluid. And then behind the steering wheel on the left side, we can go through our track list or radio station favorites. And then on the right side, we can go through volume up or down there. Now we do have standard adaptive cruise control with this AT4, which is nice. We can turn that on or off and then we can cancel, set speed, adjust the gap adjust for the forward collision alert and the adaptive cruise. And then we have voice recognition, Bluetooth or mute button there. And then we can go through our digital part of the gauge cluster using these four arrows in this check here. So we can toggle the traction and stability control. Units we can change from US to metric. We can decide what we want to show on the info page option. So I like that. And then the info page will show you everything that you have toggled there. And then we do have the heads up display. Let's see if I can get that on. So there's that there. And then we can change what's shown in the actual menu there. So I like the setup there. And I believe that's part of that technology package or something like that that I showed on the sticker earlier. And we can decide whether we want to raise or lower that. Just a, a nice feature to have again. Push button starts here. Finally, here is the key fob with remote start. And next, let's go ahead and take this Terrain AT4 with all wheel drive out on the road for a test drive. So starting the test drive in this Terrain AT4, pretty good pull from this 1.5 liter turbo. Now it's not what you would call quick in my opinion, but it does get the job done. I'd much rather have the two liter turbo that used to be available, but like I've said about the many Equinox I've driven, it's a, it's a decent engine. A lot of people that are used to that 2.4 four cylinder that came in the older models, they're gonna like this much better, I think. So I have it in two wheel drive mode now. I'm gonna put it into the all wheel drive and I'm gonna give it a little bit of throttle there. And no one's behind me, so I'm gonna leave a little bit of space. I mean, the turbo just puts in work when you need it. Again, not a speed demon, but it's much better than a, a bigger 2.4 liter without a turbocharger. I'm gonna test out the adaptive cruise. It's kinda, there's rush hour traffic here, so I'm just gonna leave myself a pretty good amount of space. But let's see what kind of fuel economy we're getting. When we get up to 70 here, getting right at about 30 miles per gallon like we can expect from the the EPA estimates and this is in all-wheel drive mode so that's something else to consider as well 
and I like that you can actually adjust whether you want to be in the two-wheel drive mode or if you want to be in the all-wheel drive mode. But sound acoustics in here, at least at the speed limit 70 here in Tennessee, pretty good. And the engine, everything about the vehicle is not loud at all. Even the tire sound with these more off-road oriented tires, not bad road noise at all. Now with this pushing upwards of $40,000, the price point can be kind of a turn off to a lot of consumers in this segment. But if you look at a similar Subaru, something like that, especially with the all wheel drive system, it'll be close to around the same money, I think, especially if you get one that's in that higher trim level. Forgot the name of Subaru's off-road oriented trim, but something like that, that Onyx, Black Onyx, it's an Onyx edition, that's what it is. So something like that in a Subaru might get you around this price point anyway. You're gonna get the four cylinder boxer with the CVT. So if you don't like CVTs and you like turbocharged engines better, this would be a good option there. And I think that's one of the big reasons that you get the standard adaptive cruise on this trim level because the options that you get from Honda, Subaru, even Toyota, they all have the standard cruise control or the standard radar or whatever they name it for Subaru, but having that radar cruise on the RAV4 and then having the different adaptive cruises, whatever they're named for the Subaru and Honda, this just makes this more competitive, I think. So I think that was a smart move by GM because this vehicle has a pretty big market share. You just have to have enough features to justify the price compared to the foreign competitors whether that be the Japanese or the Koreans. But overall, as a vehicle, I do like the terrain in this AT4 trim. Having the leather, having the all-wheel drive system, having the sunroof is a big plus, the heads-up display. Again, that standard adaptive cruise. I just like how this one's specced out, all in all. And just the ride quality you get here, I feel like is one of the better, it's one of the better rides that I've experienced and one of the better drives I've experienced. And saying that to say, like the ride quality is one of the best that I've experienced in this segment, but also just the driving dynamics, the gas pedal feel, brake pedal feel. The feeling that you get having a turbocharged engine as opposed to the naturally aspirated ones that are in Subaru and Toyotas, but even the turbocharged one in Honda, I like having this one in particular, having the nine speed automatic and then having that 1.5 turbo. So if you're in the market for one of those vehicles I mentioned earlier, definitely make sure you put this one on your list. And this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 GMC Terrain AT4 with all wheel drive.